I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleanse from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living, and be met full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, our Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my words will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yes, you say, whoever keeps my words will never test death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? Or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing, but it is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jew said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, Before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid and went out the temple and went out of the temple early. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. In our gospel narrative this morning, Jesus told the Jews. Before Abraham, I am. So he disclosed his identity as I am. What does that as I am mean? It means he's a living God. He's God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. He's a God that lives forever. He's God yesterday, today, and forever, and will be forever. We remember in the Old Testament when Moses encountered God at the burning bush, God revealed himself as also, I am the living God. And also Jesus says something very interesting today. If you keep my words, you will never see death. If you keep my words, you will never taste death. Very interesting. Of course, Jesus is not talking about physical death. We know that we're all going to die. But Jesus is talking about spiritual death. If we keep his words, we shall enjoy the peace of everlasting glory. After our, after our life here on earth, we shall live with him forever in heaven. We shall enjoy the beatific vision. On the contrary, if we don't keep his words, the eternal domination will be our portion, because God forbids. So how do we keep the word of God? We listen to God's word every day. Do we allow God's words to impact our life? Are we shining examples of the word of God we hear daily? If we keep God's words, keeping God's word means being blessings to others, helping others, helping them to realize that our God is the God of living, not of the dead. Helping those who have lost meaning in life to find meaning, restoring their hope, impacting others' lives meaningfully and positively, daily. So my brothers and sisters, may we strive on ways to give God's word, so that by doing so, we shall win so many souls for God. May the good Lord continue to strengthen us as we resolve today to spread the goodness and kindness of the divine Savior by our words, our deeds, and our action. Amen. May we rise for our intercessions. For the intention of this Mass, that Beverly, 
Makele is enjoying the peace of everlasting glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we, the people of the divine Savior, and the Christians all over the world, always keep the word of God and be a worthy instrument through us, God, we further his plan of salvation for the whole world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick, especially those who have been afflicted by coronavirus, may the good Lord comfort them, love them, and grant them healing mercies. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are daily researching the scientists and those who are researching daily, may the good Lord uh, grant them insights so that very soon they will uh, be able to get treatment and vaccine for this uh, pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For all who have recommended themselves to our prayers, all who we promise to pray for, May the good Lord grant all their good heart desires. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. I invite you to pray in silence, committing other prayers, intentions, and petitions in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Gracious and merciful God, you are God, you are the God of the living, you are I am. You remain the same. We, your children, have presented our prayers, our needs, both those who have spoken out, and all that remain in the silence of our hearts. We trust and believe that you will answer us according to your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray on these sacrificial offerings, that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your will that our self denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God Lord God of hosts, hosts. heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, 
the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon them like you do for so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith, when we, we eat this bread and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jaime our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, may Mary to be called health to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity. In accordance with your will, we live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only, only see the word, and my soul shall be healed.
spiritual communion. Jesus, let me remember that even though I can't receive your body and blood in a physical form today, I know you are within me, loving me, giving me strength, and that your own heart is beating within me, giving me life. My heart is united in your love. May I dwell with that love today. May I rest with you in my soul. May I also know I am connected with all of my brothers and sisters by the love that unites us as one. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be